David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. This is Sir Martinson's gospel outreach. The program is praise and worship in his presence. And the topic for our study this morning is what is praise? What is the meaning of praise? When we say praise, how do you understand? Most of the times, what people perceive is that when we say praise, it means we should stand up and sing and sometimes jump to the highest level above the sky. But that is not the issue. Praise is not just singing. It entails a lot. So we are going to study under the program Praise and Worship in His Presence. For a long time. But today we are going to study the word praise. So that whatever we do, we will get the understanding. As Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 depicts. What is praise? Praise is to commend. Expressing approval. And also to admire somebody. There are three factors combined, they bring about praise. The first one is commendation or to commend. And we are going to study all these three items before we go to the presence of God to worship Him. How do you understand the word praise? Praise. Praise. Another time we will talk about worship. Then we will get to forms of worship and how relevant or the relevance in praise and worship. And how can we combine the two? So this morning, this afternoon, this night, What is praise? To commend, to express approval, to admire somebody or a particular personality. Hallelujah. We go step by step. To commend. To commend means to praise someone of what he or she has done to another person. My name is Mr. A and I know Mr. B can do a particular work. Then I call Mr. C who is in need of the services of Mr. B then I say good things. I talk about Mr. B, how he does his work, whatever he does. I explain it to Mr. C so that Mr. C will have the trust to go to Mr. B for that particular services to be granted or to be done to him. The same thing applies to we Christians or we worshippers at his sanctuary. Whenever we begin to praise, one of the things that we show to the world is that we commend the God that we are serving to the unbelievers. So to praise is to commend 
But I'm sure I've been able to help you. And with that, we go to Psalm 20. The verse number 7. We will see how David commended God. It reads, Psalm 20 verse 7. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord. Some ebinum edi omure ashe tiasianam ka omwo afefe dia honam niamma omwo sika omwo entuma egu adakem ni tigri dia wanya na so yendie anya no ani yadwene ho na mmu Near Oti Mua or Nuni Asafu Radino. The one who lives and dwells within us. He is the one we are commending unto you. He has the power. His name is the I am that I am. The destiny changer. He is the beginning and the end. He holds the key of David. He holds the key of life. When he opens, no one can shut. And when he shuts, no one can open. When he blesses you, no curse can overcome you. This is what we call commendation. To commend. To commend. We are talking about praise. What is praise? Number two. We go to Psalm 9, verse 10. We will see how David commended God or recommended God. Psalm 9, verse 10. It reads, And they that know thy name will put their trust in you. Yaya yindi uwe radeno, yadi yemri ina beshumu, and found near sea and found a but no matter what happens, we trust in you. For thou, O oh Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Oh, I was shown when you were moved, never a day, one to one chinny. We are going to worship the Lord. But do we understand the word praise? The program is Sir Martinson's Gospel Outreach. Praise and worship in his presence. And if we don't understand the word praise or the word worship, we will not be able to understand and then worship him or praise him very well. So today we are learning about praise. Let's go to another part. Psalm 16, verse 1. The Psalm number 16, verse 1. I have, I have compiled all this for us to understand how to worship, especially my fellow worshippers. Psalm 16, Verse 1. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. I rade for me see. I rade shall it be. I rade crane so. A son said, Who move and I made me pray. I say. When you are commending somebody to another person, you are expressing your trust. In the person you are recommending. That is commend. Because of time, let's move on. We are moving on to expressing approval. Expressing approval. It means having good or positive opinion of someone. 
to show or have a favorable opinion of somebody. And I'm going to take your mind to the post office. When you have written your letter, you've put it in an envelope. Or when you go to the commissioner of oaths and everything is signed, there is something called a stamp. The person who put it on it, bam, it is settled. It means with God, anything that you give to him, you have approved that he will be able to do it. And he will do it perfectly. Expressing approval. So whenever we mention the word praise, it means you are going to commend. At the same time, whatever you are doing, it means you are expressing approval about our God. Having a favorable uh, uh, opinion about our God. And with this one, we go to Psalm 59, verse 16. Psalm number 59, the verse 16. And it reads, But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense. I approve that when you come to Jesus, he will be your defense. Nothing, nothing at all, evil can come against you. I'm reading again. I will sing unto thy, unto thy power. I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of trouble. In my day of trouble, he saved me. So I approve that he can save you. What is praise? What is praise? All the time we mention praise and worship, praise and worship, praise and worship. What is praise? That is what we are studying now. The second thing is Psalm 63, verse 12. Psalm 63, verse 12. Sorry, I'm coming. Psalm 63, 11, please. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swear by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. On Hiriyan Kasa, Neni Not just in him for me now, but some of them will be shared that they want me to approve what you want to say. Oh, my baby, hallelujah! Let's go to another biblical verse, Psalm 23. For that one, we all know the Lord is my shepherd, and not in a David, a broke in a Goliath in him. Or here you be or say who would they peer any as a kind of bummer so now so many be a me bow and you a was a full that it in a bob a couple of the cool this is a god we are approving unto you which god are you serving we are serving a living god who can use just one stone to kill a giant his name is Jesus. The Bible says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no one, for you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. As I'm talking to you, I don't know what you are going through, but I'm approving Christ unto you when you come to him. He is going to save you, his rod and staff. And he is going to put you 
at a place, a greener pasture, where you will eat and drink and become fat, and all kinds of burdens shall be taken away. Let's go to admiring, to command, to express approval, and at the same time admiring or glorifying. To glorify God is to bestow honor. It is to bestow honor. Praise or admiration, that is giving glory to someone specifically. David said, David said, I will stand before the congregation and declare your wonderful works. Because your handiworks are awesome. They are great. And they are overwhelming. So, you cannot think about it. They are wonderful. And they are very beautiful. In his own time, he does everything beautifully. That is how we glorify God. So, praise has three branches or consists of three particular facts to commend, to express approval, and also to glorify God. To the church, for the church to be edified, and at the same time to the unknown, or to the souls who don't know Christ, to know that he's able to deliver. He is the righteous God. We can go on and on and on, but because of time, let me just speak about one thing or give you some quotations. After this, you can settle down and then study. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 31. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 1. John chapter, James chapter 1, sorry. James chapter 1, verse 7. It all talks about the glorification of God. What is praise? How do you see God? Do you know him? Do you have a relationship with him? Has he spoken to you this morning? What did he say? And what did you say to him this morning? What is your covering? Is your covering Christ? Or your covering is another person, another deity, another something, something. We are not talking about religion here. But all that I'm saying is, who do you give your praise to? We are going to praise him this morning, this afternoon, this evening, tonight. But before I go, what is praise? It is over to you. As I'm speaking to you, if you don't know Christ, this is the program called Sir Martinson's Gospel Outreach. And the program is praise and worship in his presence. Each and every time we will be feeding you with the word of God so that if you are a worshiper, even if you don't know Christ, through this, we believe you will get to know Christ. Let's go to the throne room and begin to worship him. Let's go.
Yes, you breathe. 
their lives. Those who don't have, Father, provide for them because you can provide for them. You can give them all things through the riches that you have. You have everything, Lord. I commit each and every soul who is listening to me now into your care. You are a God of provision. May your name be praised. As I'm leaving you, remember the program is praise and worship in His presence. St. Martin's Gospel Outreach. And today's message is what is praise. May God grant you grace, power to overcome the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Amen.